Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat on Michigan Business Network. Jeffrey Mosier sitting in for Chris Holman on the road in the Traverse City vicinity for the Grand Traverse Resort and Spas Car MBS. That's the Center for Automotive Research Management Briefing Seminars number 59. Quentin Messer, Jr., Chief Executive, Economic Competitiveness Officer, Chair of the Michigan Strategic Fund, Head of MEDC, Michigan Economic Development Corporation. Quentin, welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat. Thanks so much, Jeffrey. I appreciate it. Excellent. So last we were with you was up on the island for the Mackinac Policy Conference. Could you share briefly some takeaways from the island? Well, great. No, thanks for affording me the opportunity. I think there are really three takeaways from the island. Number one is that we're continuing to execute the Make It in Michigan Economic Development Strategy, focused on developing and attracting people, cultivating and revitalizing places, and then competing for and winning projects. I think the second takeaway is the real uh, importance and necessity of making sure that industry, policymakers, and academia continue to remain in dialogue about how we move our economy forward. And I think the final thing is we really do deep tech and hard tech well. And we have to really lean into that and understand that you know, a lot of the you know, gnashing of teeth of, oh, we're not this place, we're not that place. I think if we lean into the fact that we do deep tech and hard tech better than anyone else, then I think we lean in that and market that, and then that's the way we execute the Make It in Michigan Economic Development Strategy. And growth has been a big focus in 2024. What has been the focus here in the summer specifically for MEDC? What projects are hot on the griddle? Well, I mean, there are a lot of things. I mean, we've had uh, a successful summer. We are announcing business attraction and community revitalization projects on a monthly basis that are recommended by MEDC and approved by the Michigan Strategic Fund. Uh, stay tuned. We've got a, another uh, projects this later this um, month with uh, in, in August and then September. But I think in general, we're always looking to work with small and medium-sized businesses across both peninsulas. Uh, we welcomed at the Mackinac Policy Conference uh, Ben Marciona, the state's first chief innovation ecosystem officer. So really engaging with small and medium-sized businesses and making sure that we're very thoughtful about how we provide not only capital, but smart capital, making sure that we're helping Michigan-based businesses make those connections that are going to help them get to profit or revenue sooner. Um, big events like this don't happen without the support of sponsors, and MEDC has a tremendous role at CAR MBS again this year. Can you speak to what commitment MEDC sees in CAR and MBS? Well, I think, you know, it's... It, CAR, you know, for 59 years has been really at the forefront of independent, clear-minded research that is focused on the mobility sector. And the mobility sector remains one of the most important sectors for Team Michigan. And increasingly, I think you heard some of the conversation, we can see how mobility uh, pro uh, success and companies in the sector are also diversifying into defense and aerospace, clean tech semiconductor sectors that are incredibly important again that connectivity in deep and hard tech and when you have a chance to to support convening when you have uh, decision makers and leaders like a mark royce or governor whitmer or other leaders you really want to support that because that's what we can do at medc along with partners like the michigan business network is make sure that we're all connected and sharing information and more importantly we're putting and making it easier for businesses to make that connection so that they can have profitable revenue. Tremendous connection. And now that we're midway through the second day, what have been some of your key takeaways that you've been experiencing this week at Car MBS? I think the key takeaways are really three. One is that, yes, there are headwinds um, in the automotive sector, but there are headwinds across every industry. But there are also tailwinds, things for which they're going to be very excited about. And a couple of those things are the fact that innovation continues to grow at pace, that we continue to see people buying EVs, maybe not at the same number that we had hoped, but we still see the transition. And more importantly, for some of our tier one, tier two suppliers, we're seeing them adapt 
to the changing market condition is in doing it in such a way that is not incredibly um, costly from a capital uh, perspective or allows for a lot of uh, dislocation. I think the second thing is that you know Michigan remains incredibly strong when it comes to attracting foreign direct investment and making sure that if you want smart, talented people, I'm one of the people, uh, you had two young men from Kettering University. So talent, talents, talent, talent, talent. And Michigan still has some of the finest uh, te technology, engineering talent anywhere on the planet. And I think the final takeaway is that we really have an opportunity to continue and come together as a state in a bipartisan way across both peninsulas to really continue to support mobility as well as we diversify into other sectors. Because what mobility sector really represents is the clearest example of Michigan's prowess in deep tech and hard tech. Quentin, as we go to wrap up, whether it's Pure Michigan Business Connect or some other service line, what's the hidden gem or something that you think that the Michigan business community doesn't quite know enough about at this point about the ecosystem of MEDC? And that's such a great question. Um, you know, let me make sure that people have access to our website, www.michiganbusiness.org www.michiganbusiness.org. It's very searchable. You can type in anything and we have pull down menus about how to start your business. How can we help provide capital, incentives, talent solutions, things of that nature. But I think the final thing is, is just making sure that the uh, businesses understand that there is someone, whether it's a chamber of commerce or whether it's a local or regional economic development organization, that is there to help them access opportunity, whether it be capital or whether it be government services or government policy that can help them grow profitably. Quentin, thank you so much for spending some time with the Michigan Business Beat today. I'm grateful. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Once again, Quentin Mester Jr. is the head of MEDC, Michigan Economic Development Corporation. We're on hand at the Grand Traverse Resort and Spa for Car MBS number 59, the Center for Automotive Research's Management Briefing Seminars. We'll be back with more on the Michigan Business Beat on Michigan Business Network.